It's the moon of 2021, the super flower blood moon. Why is it super? A super moon happens when the full moon happens to occur during the moon's closest approach to Earth in its orbit. It makes the moon appear a little brighter and larger than normal. Why is it the flower moon? Simply because May is a time that flowers tend to bloom in most of North America. And it's a blood moon because there's a lunar eclipse and the moon will shine a faint red during the eclipse. This is due to the fact that the only light it receives is reflected from Earth's atmosphere. Unfortunately, Tampa Bay will only see part of the eclipse. So let's break down the timing of how you can see it all unfold in Tampa Bay. Tonight at 741, the moon will rise in the east. Catch it as it's coming up above the horizon to see it appear especially big. The moon will shine big and bright all night. Tomorrow morning, 4.47 a.m., the moon enters the penumbra, the partial shadow of Earth. You won't notice much yet. At 5.44 a.m., the moon eclipse slowly begins, and you may also see the moon start getting red. 6.36 a.m. will be the maximum eclipse we see in Tampa Bay. The true maximum point of this eclipse can't be seen in Tampa Bay because the moon will be below the horizon at that time. Since the moon is near the horizon at the time of Tampa Bay's maximum moment, a beach view will be best. 6.38 a.m. is moonset. A combination of a very low moon and the eclipse taking place may make the moon so dim before it sets that it might disappear from view before it sets. If you miss this eclipse, there will be a partial lunar eclipse on November 19th at the end of this year.